The new free version of ChatGPT can create content, analyze data, and solve problems faster than you ever thought was possible. I'm about to show you how to unlock its full potential. From multimodal capabilities, to creative writing, to custom GPTs, custom instructions, I'll show you everything step by step through 17 game-changing tips that will transform the way you use ChatGPT 4.0. And make sure you stay to the last tip where I'll reveal a mind-blowing technique that can double your response. That's right, it gives double as good responses and my mind got blown when I learned this. So tip number one, multimodal inputs. So ChatGPT 4.0 isn't just about text anymore. You can use images, audio, and even video. I'm gonna upload this image of an infographic about content marketing, right? Analyze this and ChatGPT breaks it into all these parts. So you can upload any picture to ChatGPT and it can help you. Just remember that it's not Snapchat. So if you do a little, Hey, ChatGPT, what do you think? It's small. <laughs> Tip number two, leverage the extended context window. So currently ChatGPT Online has 32,000 tokens, which is about 20,000 to 25,000 words. If you use the API, you get 124,000 tokens, which is a lot more. But what this means to you is not only can you copy and paste a bunch of words into your first prompt, but it will remember the context through the entire chat a lot longer than before. For example, this paper on multi-step reasoning, you can just take this PDF, upload it directly to ChatGPT, and it will remember everything. Tip number three, master step-by-step -step explanations. One of the best ways to explain something to somebody is to break it into steps. And ChatGPT is amazing at that. Say, for example, explain the concept of neural networks in five simple steps as if you're teaching a beginner basics of neurons, layers of neurons, weights and biases, activation functions, and learning and training. This can be either for your learning or when you teach it to somebody else to dramatically improve the clarity of your content. Pretty simple, right? Tip number four, visual problem solving. ChatGPT 4.0's image capabilities go beyond just simple description. It can help you solve visual problems and generate creative ideas based on images. So I just uploaded a picture of a girl with the desk and I can ask it, analyze this image and suggest five ways to optimize this workspace for better productivity. As you can see, this is the image and it says improve ergonomics with the chair. It would get a better lumbar support. Lighting it says it's cool to have the natural light, but it's important to control the glare on the screen, organize the desk space with cable management, enhance comfort with a footrest and incorporate greenery. Like for example, this pot that's here with no plant on it. So AI doesn't just describe what it sees. It provides actionable advice based on the visual information. Tip number five, experiment with conversation styles. ChatGPT can adapt its tone to match your style and preferences, making your interactions more natural or effective. So if I say I want you to respond in the style of a motivational speaker, tell me why I should pursue my dreams of building a successful info business. I can post that. And if this is not the tone that you actually want, you can say, make it more like a motivational speech. And now it will be more of a motivational speaker like, ladies and gentlemen, today we stand on the precipice of greatness. Each of us holds within ourselves the power to transform our lives and the lives of others. And for you, Andy, I'll show you how it's no, it knows my name. That transformation lies in the heart of building a successful information business. <laughs> Why should you pursue this dream? And then I can continue with it. Keep the same motivational tone, but convince me on why I should get started tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, I'm fired up to get started tomorrow. Tip number six, leverage improved language understanding. So because ChatGPT has enhanced language processing, it allows for more nuanced and context aware responses, which means that I can say, explain the difference between effect and affect using examples relevant to content marketing. This way we get effect as a noun, that is examples, the effect of the new SEO strategy was 20% increase in organic 
traffic. The quality of the content will affect your search engine rankings. So effect refers to the outcome or result of an action and effect refers to the action of influencing or changing something. So see how AI not only explains the grammatical difference, but also provides relevant examples for you to understand this nuance that can help you create more accurate and valuable content. Tip number seven, master the analyze feature. So I can upload my YouTube analytics data into ChatGPT, and this is especially important if you do any. The e-learning market size is currently around $400 billion and is predicted to hit 1 trillion US dollars by 2032. But creating a course can be very hard. What is the course going to be about? What should the chapters be about? And how can you make sure that the audience and students are actually following along and learning? Let me show you step by step. I'm using iSpring, which is an intuitive AI powered course creation tool. And you don't know what to make a course about? Press space and ask iSpring AI. I want to create a course around social hacking and how to protect yourself what could be the title enter and it gave me this amazing title what about if you don't know the chapters i just ask ai about what the chapters could be and it's just writing the chapters here easily for me to take inspiration from if i like it i can just click on add and now i can flesh out each chapter in this outline so here you can see i've fleshed out the information so for example chapter number one this is a pretty easy one and if i want to make it even prettier i can change this to a quote for example but how do you make sure that people follow along well that's when you have an little intuitive self check exercise that you can get people to go through. So once your students have read it, they need to go through this exercise to feel like it's more engaging and actually that they know that they're learning something. One of the coolest parts is you can just select the text, click on AI, and here you can actually improve the writing, make shorter, make longer, simplify, fix spelling, and even generate questions that can easily be put into your quiz. So be a part of the $1 trillion market by clicking the link in the description down below to go into iSpring page. Thank you so much to iSpring for sponsoring this section of the video. Tip number seven, master the analyze feature. So I can upload my YouTube analytics data into ChatGPT, and this is especially important if you do any e-commerce or any traffic analysis or data analysis in general. We can first ask it to explain this data set and it then up updates in this kind of spreadsheet Excel type of view where I can see all of the different stats that I have for my SEO content and explains all the different columns that we have. And now, for example, we can bucket this data into different segments. The prompt is going to be very different based on what you actually are looking for. And you can see that it actually has buckets of search or recommendation related. I actually want it to be more like you can pause the video now if you want to see the actual prompt, but I want to have it as bucket as image generation, video generation, ChatGPT tutorial, general AI and other. In this way, I know what is performing the best on my channel versus what is not performing as well, which means that I can double down on what to do. So you can see that it actually created a new column here, tra a specific traffic source where it has more of these categories. Let me show you one more thing that you can do. Can you make a graph of the 100 most popular keywords with the name of keyword and the views? And we get this beautiful graph. You can prompt it a little bit different to remove all this space. But again, there you got data analysis. Tip number eight, explore role playing scenarios. Role playing with ChatGPT can help you gain new perspectives. And for example, if you're in sales and you got somebody on the phone, you don't want that to stifle you. Rather, you have role played so many times that you know exactly every single objection they have and you breathe the response. And the only way to do that is role playing. Let's role play. You're a skeptical customer considering purchasing Andy's doggy daycare. Ask me challenging questions about the service. As you can see, it starts listing out all these different objections or challenging questions. And then you can ask it, now let's role play. You ask me a challenging question, then I respond to that question. Then I want you to rate my response from one to five stars and explain what I could have done better. After that, you ask another challenging question and we go back and forth. As you can see, challenging question one, what sets your dog at their care apart from similar services in my area? Your turn to respond. It's all done by AI robots. Rating one star. <laughs> Thanks, ChatGPT. Tip number nine, custom GPT. So you might have seen this explore GPTs to the side here. And this is where you get a lot of different custom GPTs that can help you in 
specific ways. As you can see, you have a trending by ChatGPT writing. You have, for example, a humanizer that makes it more human-like content productivity. You have Canva to PDF AI, Video GPT that I like a lot by Veed, Wolfram that is a lot better at math than ChatGPT is. You have education ones where you can even make diagrams, lifestyle where they have a bunch of different games, even a Riz GPT. Programming, I really like Grimoire that has 20 plus hotkeys for coding flows. I'm not gonna show you a single one here. I just highly recommend go into it and see if you like it better. For me, when I do coding, I really like going into Grimoire because the responses are just way better. Which brings us to tip number 10, customize chat GPT's responses. If you click on your profile picture in the top right, you can click on customize chat GPT. So I have basic custom instructions like my name is Andy, I use the metric system and kilos, I use MacBook Air, M2 and iPhone. 15 Pro Max, and this is just so if I ask for tutorial pieces, it understands what device I'm on. So I highly recommend doing that. And for how would you like ChatGPT to respond, you can, for example, say always include actionable tips in your response and relate examples to content creation and online business. I really don't like to add too much because I don't want to filter all the responses before I actually do the prompt. I would rather do the prompt of, for example, thought starters, how formal or casual should ChatGPT be? I would rather write that in the prompt like we did with a motivational speaker earlier. So try this out, but yeah, this is what I use. But let's jump to tip number 11, generate creative writing. So maybe you don't need creative writing for your work, right? But I heard this on a podcast earlier on how to use ChatGPT for creative writing which was say you're a family man and you're going on a trip to, for example, Italy and you have kids. Well, the anticipation of going there can be as rewarding as actually going there and using ChatGPT like this can help you a lot. So take a look at this, write a creative visual story of three kids traveling to New York. Their names are Anne, Mike and Daniel going on different adventures and spots in the city. You can see it's continuing to write chapter six, chapter seven, and really trying to make it a memorable experience for your kid. And now you can click on this button here that will make it read aloud if you don't wanna read it yourself and listen to this. The Adventures of Anne, Mike and Daniel in New York City. Chapter one, the arrival. Anne, Mike and Daniel stepped off the plane at JFK airport, their eyes wide with excitement. It was their first time in New York City and they could hardly contain their enthusiasm. Anne, with her fiery red hair and boundless curiosity was the planner. Mike, tall and athletic, was the thrill seeker. Daniel, the youngest with his glasses and love for books, was the thinker. Together, they made the perfect team for a grand adventure. As you can see, such an amazing way to use creative writing before you've even gone on the trip. Tip number 12, leverage improved fact checking. Sometimes if you write one prompt, you may have a bunch of facts that are hallucinated. That's one of the cons of LLMs currently. But if you have a multi-step prompt or prompt chain as they call it, you can use one prompt to write it and another prompt to fact check it to check if the information is right. So let's the, use the creative writing example that we did before. I like to use it in this step-by-step -step fashion. So first, pull out all the facts of this content piece bullet by bullet then search the internet to make sure all the info is correct. Now, <laughs> because it's creative storytelling, maybe it's not gonna be as good as a actual non-creative story, but you can see here that I'll start the search process now. So you can see that it searched a couple of sites and then they can see the facts. Verification Central Park offers bicycle rentals and features Bethesda Terrace and Fountain Central Park Zoo and the Alice in Wonderland statue, all popular attractions in the park. And then it says all the facts in the story about Anne, Mike and Daniel's adventures and it has been verified and accurate. So this is a great example. Tip number 13, use ChatGPT for brainstorming. This is one of my absolute favorite ways to use ChatGPT because brainstorming is the first step of a creative process. And if you can get a hundred ideas, 
and then select between those, it can lead you out of a creative block. So let's say you have an info business and you're a content creator that needs a lead magnet. It could be generate 10 unique ideas for lead magnets that would appeal to aspiring entrepreneurs interested in AI and technology. AI startup blueprint guide, free AI tools ebook, exclusive webinar series, AI business plan template, AI trend reports, etc., etc. But also title ideas, brainstorming unique twists on certain storylines the topic here is endless so let's go to tip number 14 master multi-language coding because ChatGPT can generate code in multiple program languages you can usually turn one piece of code into another piece of code like for example Python to JavaScript here we have a flappy bird game code and if we ask it can you convert this Python script into JavaScript Java you'll see that it just starts writing the Java. Then it explains how you can run it. This is especially important if you're, for example, want to turn your app into a Chrome extension. You can just ask ChatGPT about that. Tip number 15, enhance language learning. So I have a big tutorial on language learning for ChatGPT that a lot of people were really happy about that goes more in depth about this. But a easy prompt could be, I'm learning Spanish. Can you give me a list of 10 common business terms in Spanish, their English translation, and example sentences using each. Just like that, it gives you the word like empresa, company, mercado, market, with examples of a sentence and the translation as well, which is just a game changer for language learning. Tip number 16, utilize improved summarization. ChatGPT Foro's enhanced summarization capabilities can help you digest long form content quickly. Let me show you an extra tip here. My friend Matt Wolf usually has 28 minute long videos where I watch every single one of them, but sometimes I just want to get the highlights. So I use this Chrome extension called YouTube subtitle download helper. I use the TXT and click on download. And now I have the entire YouTube transcript. Then I can just drag the content in here. I'll ask summarize this into its key chapters. Then it goes on with doing all of the different chapters that are happening in the video. And this is obviously not only for YouTube videos, it's also for big papers that we did a little bit earlier, but I just wanted to show you this exact use case because I think it's an amazing one. Just don't summarize my videos, watch them all the way to the end. Tip number 17, use prompt chains. What this is, is instead of just writing a master prompt, like a big, big prompt, Instead, you use one prompt for one task and another prompt for another task. Let's, for example, say that we're gonna generate a script for a YouTube video. What we would do is first have a research task. I have the prompt right here that basically uses a research agent to go out and try to conduct research on the internet first, let's say for the script AI. And when we post that, you can see that it searched six sites and then it will write a bullet point outline for us. So this is not the script, it's just a bullet point outline which helps us a lot with refining the early stages so we can catch any mistakes or add to it where it's just better at searching and then we can use a script writing agent or a prompt here that is more focused on how to turn those bullets into an actual good script so we write the keyword here the script ai tutorial then we just copy and paste i found better results by doing this copy and then we paste the bullets directly in here this is where you can take the time to actually read through the bullets and see if there's any missing features. And when you post that, you see that it starts writing the intro chapter number one with the prompt. I have visual and narration screen shares and stuff like that as well. Then importing and recording media. And as you can see, you will get a way better response by doing a prompt chain with separate prompts doing separate tasks. If you found this video helpful, drop a like on the video. Now I got a question for you. Do you have any tips that you want to give to anybody? Drop them in the comments down below. Now make sure you check out the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.